the Chancellor retreated to his fortress west of the northern forest. He'll be begging Regal for help now, so he will. What a piece of filth. Leave his men behind to die in his stead. Huzzah for the deliverance! Thanks to you, the castle is finally rid of those Imperial dastards. Oh, what a joy to watch them run! We're finally free! You have my heartfelt thanks. Truly. stole the royal sword when he turned tail and ran. The Regalian Imperial household gave us that sword as a sign of friendship. I don't know what use to say has for it. Oh, it's a powerful sword and no lie, but only in the hands of the right wielder. And that wielder isn't him. The Rider's Bane here in the vault makes short work of mounted soldiers. But as it's a lance, only knights and similar classes can wield it. Attention. It's true we have made great strides by recapturing the castle, but Chancellor Desai, the man who started all this, remains at large, and the Regellian army yet lingers inside our kingdom's borders. To free Sophia, we must find Desai, slay him, and drive Regell back for good. Alm. Um. Yes? You are our commander now. We would hear your opinion on this. Oh, right. My opinion. Um... Well, what are our options? We could be defensive, garrison the castle, and wait for Regal to come to us. Or we could take the fight to them. The choice is yours. I see. You know, until recently, I'd never set foot outside of Ram Village. This war has been my first glimpse of the kingdom I live in. Unfortunately, I've also seen what it's been reduced to. Needless to say, it's far worse than I'd heard. People are suffering, even dying. But this war, no matter how terrible, has also taught me something. It taught me that when we stand up and fight, we help those people. I don't want to stop helping them now. I want to press on and make as much of a difference as I can. I know this probably sounds empty, maybe even mad, but I think we should keep fighting until we've taken back all of Zofia. So then, will you stand with me? Will you stand and fight? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course we will, silly boy. Then it seems the matter is settled. The Deliverance shall march. We will put Desai down and scatter the Regellian army to the four winds. Wow, that gave me goosebumps. Not bad, Om. Um, not bad. Were you even listening to a thing he said? Your goosebump giver just declared war on the whole damned empire. I know, but I think it was a nice speech. Wait, he did what? No, no. Come on, this isn't war, Gray. He's just going to kick them out. Right, and then Emperor Rudolph will just send a fruit basket to apologize. Come on, Tobin. You can't be so thick that you don't see what's coming. What? Stop staring at me. It's creepy. You knew it would come to this, didn't you? When you agreed to join the Deliverance, I mean. 
Oh, come now. You're the one who said all those years ago that Om was different from us. You knew he was going to do something like this one day. <laughs> I'm not a prophet, Tobin. All I meant was that he's different. Well, you were onto something no matter what you meant. Because now we're starting to see that he's much bigger than we are. I'm proud of him. But I'm also going to miss him. Oh, brother. You poor kid, Tobin. General Meissen was a magnificent man, but King Lima never did like him. Of course, he never liked much of anything besides his wine and women. I wager to say he looked upon the general as an obstacle of sorts, too. Because after he'd murdered the king's children, he pinned it on Sir Meissen. You'd have been daft to believe such a thing, of course. Which is precisely what the king did. Or perhaps he just saw it as an excuse. Regardless, Meissen was found guilty and banished. He's lucky he wasn't hanged. They say all of King Lima's children are dead now, so they do. Oh, but I've heard tale that one of them still lives. Her name was Antiz, Princess Antiz. Juicy bit of gossip that, eh? Story goes, the villa she lived in was set to blaze some ten or so years back. Folks thought she burned to cinders, but you know how tongues like to wag. Could be some brave soul up and saved her. Wonder where she ended up if so. Princess Antis had a brother from a different mum, but they were still close. After that fire at the villa, however, neither body was found. I often dreamed that at least the princess managed to escape somehow. Sophia's king for many years, you know. If you need anything, just ask. Thank you. That's very kind. This is my first time here, so I'll admit to feeling a bit lost. My grandfather, Sir Mycin, spoke of it on occasion, but... Sir Mycin, the Zophian general? Uh, yes, that's the one. I'm his grandson, Alm. He lived in this castle long ago, didn't he? Well, yes, but how very odd. I knew the general quite well, and he had neither wife nor child. Huh? I beg your pardon, good sir, but that simply cannot be the case. Alm is most certainly related to... No, I assure you, General Meissen told me himself. I have no family, he said. Clear as day it was. But wait, if I'm not... Pay him no mind, Alm. The old man's probably just confused us all. It was a long time ago. Uh, yes, that must be it. <laughs> hmm, very odd indeed. Just in time. Please proceed up these steps. A visitor is waiting for you up on the balcony. A visitor? Who is it? I'm afraid I cannot say. Go on and see for yourself. Huh. All right, then.
It's good to see you, boy. Grandfather, what are you doing here? <laughs> I have my reasons. Look how far you've come, Mom. You're a man grown now. You've been through quite a bit since leaving the village, haven't you? I suppose. But, Grandfather, I'm sorry I never said goodbye or thanked you for all you did for me. I still feel guilty about that. But I think I made the right choice. I'm the commander of the Deliverance now. And together we've already liberated the Southern Outpost and this castle. So you see... I didn't come here to pick apart your actions, Om. I came here to ask you a single question. Are you ready? Am I... ready? Indeed. For once you march on Regal, you place yourself in the hands of destiny. You won't be able to stop the events that unfold. No one will wish you well. Many will even try to stop you. Unexpected tragedy is sure to follow. That is the price of what you are about to undertake. <sighs> so I ask again, are you ready to take the lives of others into your hands? Are you ready to shoulder all of their burdens, their desires? And are you ready to fight and bleed until Sophia and all of Valentia is saved? I am. I know I may be in over my head, and I still have much to learn. But when I say I will fight for my kingdom, I will fight for my kingdom. No one will stop me. Nothing will break me. I'll see it through to the very end. Very well. I've seen that look before. Must run in the blood. Huh? What do you mean? You'll understand in time, boy. Say, that reminds me. This old man downstairs was saying some strange things. He told me... Huh? What's that noise? Well, well. The people have gathered to get a look at their new hero. You should go greet them. Whoa. Burn this memory into your heart, boy. These are the people whose burdens you will carry the rest of the way. Remember what lies upon your shoulders. And so it was that Sophia Castle was liberated from Desai's clutches, causing the Sophian people to greet their new hero with raucous cheers. However, what Alm did not and could not know was that his victory here was but the prelude to a longer and far more bitter conflict. I burial tidings, Emperor! The rebel army has taken back Sophia Castle. And what of Burkut? Sire, Lord Burkut withdrew and rejoined with the main force. Pathetic. Pathetic. A regalia knight. The Emperor's sworn defender. Scurrying away like a rat. My arcanists would never have painted so sorry a picture. Hold your tongue, Master Jeddah. Why should I? I merely speak the truth. You said the leader of this deliverance is named Alm, correct? Yes, Emperor. He assumed command after Sir Clive of the Knights of Zofia stepped down. Did he now? Rudolph, die! Oh! You took everything! Everything that I ever loved! You took Sophia! You took my friends! And now, so are you too! Please stop! 
What's going on? Can't you see me? Stop this! I'm begging you, please! Why are they clanging that infernal bell? Apparently the king's passed away. That's what Noma said, at least. The king? But isn't that... He was Selicus. Oh dear. I hope she's dealing with this okay. You're certain I can't dissuade you from going, little one? I must, Noma. It's been years since crops last grew on Zophian soil. Our barren fields have fallen victim to terrors? The Regellians have invaded? I fear some ill must have befallen the Earth Mother, Mila. I can't help but feel this is all related. I know it. Hmm. Perhaps it is at that. I'll not deny that the Kingdom of Zophia faces her darkest hour in some time. More sick and hungry come to the Priory's door each day seeking aid. The key to everything lies with Mila. I shall travel to her temple and learn what's become of her. Yes, but little one, you know well the reason Mycin placed you in my care. With the King's passing, you are the last living member of the Zophian royal line. There are many who would seek to use you, or even end you. That threat is greater now than ever. Yet you would still leave, knowing that? I must. Even if my decision betrays the care you and Mycin have shown me. You've done so much to keep me safe, and it breaks my heart to pain you. But what calls me to do this goes beyond my heart. I can only ask your forgiveness, Noma. Keep your cries of forgiveness, little one. I'll not give what isn't required. If this is your mind, I won't object. Follow the path before you. Trust in it as I in you. Thank you, Noma. Hmm. Of course. But you must take care. The blight in Zophia is worse even than you know. You've uncommon talent as a warrior priestess, but carelessness is fatal. Ah. And you mustn't forget Miller's turn wheel. I wear it always. You know that. See that you do. I'm certain it will prove helpful on your journey. Thank you, Noma. For everything. Well then, I think I'll be on my way. Hmm? You're leaving this very instant? Surely you can stay until the bell's last peal. It rings to mourn your father's passing, as you know. I'll never think of that man as my father. Now if you'll excuse me. Little one. When Regal broke the Divine Accord, this plague of terrors fell upon us. But surely their own lands must be suffering the same fate. What could have driven them to invade Zophia at such a price? I would dearly love to know what's going through Emperor Rudolph's mind. Lately, 
Nova sees boat after boat filled stern to bow with hungry refugees. But alas for them, this island's no better off than anywhere else. We're even poorer than most, what with pirates seizing inbound supply ships. We'll soon have naught to eat but what fish the waves see fit to provide. These are dark times we face. May you walk always in the light of Miller's blessing, little one. Too. You can't say no! <laughs> Thanks, May. To be honest, I'd welcome the help. Good, because I'm coming too. I'm not letting the two of you off on your own. Letting us? <laughs> you say that like you think you could keep us safe. I do, and I can. I'll be more help than you, at least. Uh, rude and wrong. I can conjure lightning, Bowie. Big, hurdy lightning. What have you got? Fire? Maybe I'll call you if I want to roast marshmallows. Let's just say you'd both be a great help and leave it at that, shall we? I know I'll be counting on you both. This isn't going to be an easy journey. Still, I'm glad I'll have such good company. Celica, can I go with you? Ships leaving the port will get us to the mainland. We should head there now. Though that does mean we'll have to pass through the cemetery on our way. Rumor has it there have been terrors appearing there as of late. Let's be ready for anything. Milady, this graveyard we're passing through... Uh, why are we, again? Because it's the only way to port. Yes, but there's been talk of terrors around here as of late. So there has. Best keep our wits about us, then, hmm? Uh, but, Milady, I... I'll face down thieves or rogues any day, but terrors... Terrors are... different. <laughs> oh, Bowie. How can you be so scared of spooks and spirits at your age? Shove off, would you? A man can't help what gives him fright. <laughs> oh, not you too, milady. You wound me. 
I'm sorry, Bowie. I was just remembering my brother. Brother? I didn't realize you had one. Yes, though by different mothers. He was a sweet thing, but meek, frightened to death of ghosts. Then he became one, alas. And much too young. Were he alive, you two would have been quite alike, I'm sure. Milady, I... Way to go, Bowie. Your whining's gone and dredged up a bunch of sad memories for Celica. What? Why is this my fault? Uh, because it's always your fault. Now suck it up and get ready to fry some foes, terrors or otherwise. Terrain bears no influence on magic. I remember Sir Myson saying so. Listen close, friends. Do not be shy about when and where you attack. Even if our foes cower in the woods, our spells will find their mark.
Let's go! You need healing. Lady, are you thinking of leaving for Sophia, perchance? If so, I fear you may be in for some disappointment. Ships aren't sailing, or so I'm told. Too many pirates about. Still, probably best you went to the docks and ask the captain yourself. He may smell like a tavern floor, but that saber's a skilled sellsword. If you ever find yourself in need of steel, you could do far worse than him. Though if that steel needs a history fit for retelling in polite company, well, he's strong though, I'll give him that. And I suppose, passably handsome. There's a shrine on a small island up ahead, you know. Its vault holds an otherworldly sword, or so the stories go. Many have died for such stories, though, so consider this fair warning. See, turns out that islet is home to a terrible necro dragon. Eat you in a single bite, it will. What if the fear don't kill you first? 
Oh, just the thought of it is enough to turn my hair to white. Little ass, this ain't a place for children. You lost, little ass. Chancellor Desai has taken up the throne at Zofia Castle. The villain thinks slaying a king makes you next in line. He's a right tyrant. Sir Clive of the Order of Zofian Knights has gathered an army to run him off. But from what we hear in these parts, fighting's been hard and progress slow. Heading out to see, my lady. Be careful out there amongst the waves. A vile man named Barth has named himself Pirate King of these waters. He sits in his island hold to the east and commits what barbary he pleases. Just the other day, a man who'd had his whole family slain set out for revenge. Like as not, he'll meet the same fate. At least he'll be reunited with his kin. Um, excuse me, but... Ah, Lady Priestess, welcome! Something I can help you with today? I need to book passage to Zofia Harbor. Hmm. I'm afraid that's a difficult wish to grant, even for you, Priestess. This patch of sea is teeming with pirates of late. It's just too dangerous. Oh, that's no good. That being said, if Milady were to do something about those pirates, well, that'd be a different matter altogether now, wouldn't it? You want me to fight pirates? They've grown bolder by the day, so they have. And yet, His Highness hasn't seen fit to send so much as a single man. This sees our love and livelihood. We can't live cut off from her. Uh, what's happened to Sophia? Hmm. Forgive me, milady, but I can't get you across the sea so long as pirates sail it. I know I ask much of you, Priestess, but if you would lend us your strength... Hmm. What are we supposed to do now? I can't believe that old-timer tossed his pirate problem right at our feet. Do we look like the type to fight pirates? We're delicate little blossoms. Speak for yourself. Regardless, the man is right. We'll not get anywhere until ships are free to sail again. What do you propose, milady? Let's gather what help we can find. The sea is only the start. Zofia is at war, and ravaged by terrors besides. We'll not make it very far traveling alone. We need allies. Strong ones. Yes, and mad enough to set sail into pirate-infested waters with us. I'm sure they'll just be lining up to take the job.
You're Saber, yes? Yep. Who are you, girl? My name is Celica. The people here speak quite highly of your skill with a blade. I'd like to enlist your services as a protector. Guard duty, huh? You headed somewhere, or is this a local deal? We seek the Temple of Mila. That's awfully far. And I suppose you've already heard about our little pirate problem. It's the reason I seek your aid, in fact. Unless you think a few mere pirates are too much for you to handle? <laughs> That's real cute. Believe me, lass, I ain't worried about a couple sea rats. All I'm worried about is if you can pay. I don't work charity cases. Especially when I'm risking my own neck. I'm afraid I haven't much money. But I do have this. A dagger. <laughs> well, ain't you fancy. Will this be sufficient for your services? You mean will I risk life and limb for a single dagger? Ordinarily, no. But, since I like your moxie, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a break. <laughs> you got a deal. I'll get you to your temple. Wonderful. You have my thanks, Saber. May, Bowie, did you hear that? He's going to come with us. <laughs> this job's got easy money written all over it. What kind of fool hands over treasure like this without batting an eye? She really must be Daddy's spoiled little lass. Ah, Lady Priestess, you've returned. I have. And this gentleman, Saber, has agreed to aid us. Now may we ask you to set sail? Well then, I'd be honored to do my part, milady. Come aboard. We'll depart as soon as you're ready. <laughs> What's wrong, Celica? Feeling blue? Oh, it's nothing. It's just that the last time I was on a ship was when I came to the island. Hey, that's right! Bowie and I used to take little trips every now and again, but never with you. Shame we never got to travel as a group. Would have been way more fun. Are you completely daft, May? Celica came here in hiding, remember? She can't just announce herself by hopping aboard a pleasure cruise. Uh, I know that much, Bowie. <laughs> of course I do. I'm just saying I'm happy we're getting the chance now. Isn't that right, Celica? Please stop talking before you dig a grave so deep we all go tumbling in. <laughs> it's fine, Bowie, really. And I'm happy to be traveling with you as well, May. Though I'm also anxious. What could have happened to Mila? Will we even make it to the temple to find out? And... And? <laughs> I'm sorry. Best I keep this one to myself. What? Oh, that's just mean! Oh, where are you right now? And what are you doing? Are you still living in that village with Grandpapa? No. I can tell. You've left your home behind, haven't you? I want to see you so badly. There's so much I need to ask. Perhaps Mila will cause our paths to cross on this journey. at my heart, but you needn't endure it much longer. I've had report that the girl has left the island. I will deliver her to you without fail. She of the fated children, bear of the brand. Oh. 